Welcome to this music theory series where we cover all the basics. In this video, I will show you all the pitches we use in Western music and their most common names. My goal for this series is to teach you all the basics as briefly as possible. So here we go. We do have 12 different notes and their most common names are A, A sharp or B flat, B, C, C sharp or D flat, D, D sharp or E flat, E, F, F sharp or G flat, G, G sharp or A flat. And after that, you end up at our starting point, A, which sounds an octave higher. Without getting too technical here, a pitch is defined by its vibrations per second measured in Hertz, and the octave doubles this frequency. An easy way to think about this, it's basically the same note sounding higher or lower. Those 12 notes divide an octave into 12 equal parts, and they repeat throughout multiple octaves. You could stop here, but there's more you should know about this topic, so stick with me here. By the way, I do offer a full-depth music theory course that dives really, really deep into the material, featuring numerous examples and exercises and you can find the link in the description box. In Western music, we use seven natural notes. And those notes are the alphabetic letters from A till G. Those notes, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, also equal the white keys on the piano. Then there's a sharp. A sharp raises the note by a half step. For example, if you add the sharp to the note A, you will end up on the black key on the right side of A. This note is called A sharp, and it's a half step higher than the note A. We also have the flat, which lowers the note by a half step. For example, if you take the note B, you add the flat, you will end up on the black key on the left side of B. This note is called B flat, and it is a half step lower than the note B. As you might notice, both of these notes, A sharp and B flat, are located on exactly the same black key. This is something we call anharmonic equivalent. And what does that mean? Well, basically it means that the same pitch can have multiple note names. And there will be more context to this. So there will be scenarios when one of those, A sharp or B flat, will be more correct than the other. However, for practical purposes, this is less relevant. So how can you use note names in real life? Well, first of all, you can use note names in order to communicate with other musicians. You will also need note names in order to form triads and intervals and everything that's about to come. And I will show you now how you can use note names in order to name the notes on the guitar.